Hi there, it's Liz from Sew for Home with the age old question, what's more fun than a barrel of monkeys? How about a barrel style duffel? You know, when you imagine a duffel, I'm guessing the picture in your mind is probably something made out of a heavy duty fabric and a tan or a brown. But for this standout from the crowd bag, we took a different path using a lightweight canvas in a bold, colorful print. You know, this is an excellent chance to rev up your fussy cutting skills. Our granny square fabric, which is from Ruby Star Society, gave us strong lines and squares that we could use for pattern matching. And we were able to add a little extra interest by cutting some of our pieces on the bias. And you can see that to either side of the zipper as well as on the handles. You know, you will be working with multiple layers, plus some thickness comes into play with the webbing handles and the strap, as well as the quilting on the body and the end panels. Now, there's a layer of fusible fleece between the exterior and the lining, and that provides really just the right amount of loft. It's dense enough so that you can see the quilting, but without the bag becoming too soft. Now we used our Janome AccuFeed Flex built-in fabric feeding system, and we added a quilting guide bar for perfect straight line quilting. Our thanks go out to Janome America for sponsoring this project. You know, So For Home is a Janome exclusive studio, which means we get to use what we feel are the best machines in the industry. Now, if you feel a machine is a machine is a machine, I am here to tell you how important it is to have a machine that is precise, powerful, and flexible. And it's because we have heard from so many people who throw in the towel after like a single attempt at sewing, thinking they don't have the skills to succeed. When nine times out of 10, it's because the machine they are trying to use has let them down, frustrated them, simply failed. The better your tools, the more creative you become and the more joy and confidence that you experience, it makes a difference. All right, soapbox back under the desk and onward to some of my other favorite things about this project. There's a full width zipper that opens from both directions. No need to be scared. We give you all the steps and it starts when the bag is flat. You get several carry options. You can clip on the adjustable strap, shorten it to wear over the shoulder or extend it to wear cross body or unclip it all together and stow it inside or leave it behind and just use the double handles. By adding the fabric accent strip to the base webbing, both the strap and the handles look prettier and they blend better with the body of the bag. Plus, it's a super easy technique that you can use on this project and many others. Now, there are four pockets on the exterior, one on each end and one on the front and the back between the handles. But I wonder if I didn't slip my hand into the pocket, would you have noticed they were there? You know, we already talked about how fussy cutting makes the most of a bold print like this. In addition, for this project, you can learn to match a pocket to a background panel. So when you want a pocket's motif to precisely align with the panel on which it sits, all you need is a little extra fabric, some tissue paper, and those tracing skills that you learned back in kindergarten. You know, if you're a Sew for Home regular, you know our site is filled with great standalone sewing techniques. And we link from projects to those techniques all the time. I'm going to do the same thing here, switching to photos from our actual step-by-step -step tutorial on pocket to panel matching. Ready? You start by fussy cutting your background panel. Next, cut your pocket pattern using tissue paper or similar see-through paper and draw in all your seam allowances on that tissue. Place the pocket pattern in position on the background panel and your pattern should give you this position. Pin it in place. 
Then, trace several motifs from the fabric that bridge the marked seam allowance on the pocket pattern. Tracing in a corner is an excellent place to start, but trace motifs on all sides of the pocket for the best results. You can even trace motifs in the center of the pocket panel. When you feel your tracing is complete, unpin the pattern from the base panel and set aside that base panel. Now lay out the remaining uncut fabric on your work surface. Place the pattern with all its cool tracing on this remaining fabric. Slide the pattern around on the fabric until you find an exact match with your traced elements. When everything lines up perfectly, pin the pattern in place and cut out your pocket. Construct the pocket as normal, turn it right side out and press. Now, put the pocket back into position on the background panel, you know, adjusting it slightly if need be. And stitch it in place for a perfect match of the finished pocket to your fussy cut background panel. Cool, huh? Motif matching is one of the secrets to a more professional finish. And now it's a secret no longer. So check out the pattern and the instructions for our multi-pocket quilted barrel bag, available now on Sew for Home. And a shout out again to our friends at Genomi America for their generous sponsorship, which allows us to bring all of it to you for free. Thanks so much for watching and happy sewing.